nice view. Welcome to Roadie Park Inn. Ooh, there's a very chest over there. Oh, there's a load of them. Do I want to climb this? No. Anyway, I'm about to go for a ride up to a large hill. Apparently we're 200 metres up. So it should be able to see some stars tonight. I'm going to try out some stuff on the camera again, on the, the, the phone with that SS thing. If you saw my last video, you'll, you'll see like my failed attempt at doing that. Um, check that one out, that was good fun. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this view. I'll see you en route. Access only. Oh, I'll give it a try. You never know. Oh, I see a red phone box. Have to film it. Here we are actually on the North Dorset Trailway. At long last. Right round in circles in Blanford. It's good fun though. It's a uh, Saturday night, so it's going to be busy in there, of course. But yeah, this is glorious. Very chilled. The sun over there.
still in the distance over there. I think I'm going to be st staying on that. I think. What the hell am I doing? So that path, the kind of trailway. Uh, it's kind of not this row here, but then the other row there. So the trailways there, I'll come off that further back this way. Because it kind of looked on the map. I could get to the top of Hot Hill. Actually, you can see two people at the top there. It looked on the map like I could get there from here. But it's not that nice. Check this ground out. It's not the best. But I'm just I'm just hiker biking it up to the top of that. That's my inspiration. Get to the top of that. I'm just pushing. It's good fun. But check out the view though. So. That's really cool. And the sun's just coming through the clouds. beer in my bag. I've got a beer in my bag. Think of the beer. And I'm getting stung. More stinging nettles than you can wave a stinging nettle at. Right, I'm kind of at that um, hedge line you could see a minute ago. Close the way through. After all that, I don't know how much of that I filmed. I'm thinking, lost the will to live at some point there. So that's not a that's a barbed wire fence leading from that that field just there. I've walked along here, you know, up that hill that you saw me crawling up. Walk through here, lifting my bike over that, and gone there. See, from that side, you can't see any of this. If I'd have planned my route a bit better, there's a nice pathway there. Hmm, I think I might be going back that way in the morning. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, I can't believe it. I know what I'm like. But anyway, how cool is this? This is, uh, yeah, there you go. Lovely views. It's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so hopefully the morning is going to be a nice sunrise. Where's the sun going down? Over there. So I'm going to get over there somewhere to get the sunrise. But this, this is the hill. How cool is this? Pretty funky. Well, I'm going to have a little explore. Uh, what do we know? It's quarter seven. It's going dark at the moment. It's uh, beginning of September. It's going dark at the moment. Um, what about a quarter past half past eight? So, yeah, got about an hour to explore. Have some food after that. Yeah. Well, I'm very glad that I got up the top of that hill, but how I missed that, I really don't know. Slap on the wrist to mark. You see the perimeter like that. The mound thing, so it dips down there. They probably <coughs> took that out. This is pretty cool. There's a folly over there on the ridge. You can hear the, I think that's the 350, the A350. God. I'm just thinking if you looked at my um, the rain camp, North Dorset Trailway, look that up. I stayed in that clump of trees over there somewhere. You see that hill? I pushed my bike up that as well. I like pushing my bike up hills. 
Yay! But I'm pushing my bike with a bit more enthusiasm now because I can actually see the top. I did try riding it up. It doesn't look too bad on, on the camera. Yeah, I suppose you can kind of see a, it's almost like opposite to that over there. I don't know. I don't know if you can get the, get the perspective. Oh man, this is definitely worth it. How cool is that? Yeah. I'm going to be sleeping here tonight. There's no one down there. It's coming up here tonight. There's a cool church over there. That might... I might have ridden past that. I don't know. It's that time of day now. The sun is... Just find that cloud over there. Come on, sun, do something. See those clouds? Don't look too bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah, only that far to go. Hello, cows. I see this over there. Or they're either having a barney or they're doing a mating ritual. It's just gonna be on the other one. Well, I'll leave them to it. They can borrow my tarp if they want. <laughs> Well, I was just over there by that tree with that family of cows. They were the the young uns were milking and stuff. So I've just kind of left there. Think they want my dinner. Yeah, burger of goodness. Oh, I'm with it. <laughs> Is this a bit wrong eating a burger in front of cows? I don't know. Anyway, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. See what they think about them. Mm -hmm. I'm eating my dinner, turn round, and there's bloody loads of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm off. I think I might try and find some wooded area. Bloody hell, these cows don't like me. I don't know why. What have I done to them? What have I done to you? You're very annoying, you cows. God, he's staring at me, making sure I'm going. Yeah, yeah, I'm off, mate. came in over there where that person was just walking and then went up there had a bit of dinner 
basically come back round again. I'm kind of about where I started pretty much. I might sleep where that guy's walking past there. Probably, I don't know. I'm just gonna have a ride around a bit. So I got to um round the other side where I just was and that guy actually we we started having a chat and to cut a long story short he suggested coming down here there's a gate there which will stop the cows coming in i don't want to be waking up with a cow bloody sat on me or anything that would be great wouldn't it i've still got a bit of a view over there but i'm i'm not going to go into that field because there's lots of houses over there so i don't want to be drawing attention to myself uh, this leads down to the farmer's track. I'm going to be up really early, so I'm hoping to miss them. One bivvy set up, ready to sleep. It's now, it's only about half past nine. It's not a bad little camp, this. I'm going to crack, crack open a beer, guys. Well, believe it or not, oh yeah, you can just about see. There we go. Proper job. Cheers, guys. Happy Saturday night. Mmm, yum, yum. This is a cool spot. So far, no wind. Bit overcast, so we can't see any stars or anything, which is a bit of a bummer. Hopefully, the clouds will clear during the night. It's supposed to be a clear day tomorrow, so. Fingers crossed, we're going to get some stars at maybe 3 a.m. or something like that. Yeah. Got my little hip flask. Got Glenlivet tonight. Hmm, very nice. The aroma is mesmerizing. Cheers. is a tasty beverage. I don't know if you can hear that on the mic. I'm close to, like Blandford is a few miles over there. But I can just hear there must be a pub playing some music. It's actually quite nice. Every now and again you get a bit of a bit of a tune. Come on Eileen. I think that was on a minute ago. It's good to hear the world getting back to, you know, back to life. It's brilliant. And there's me, sat a few miles away, on a hill, drinking whiskey. <laughs> Good night. Ah. Unfortunately, the whiskey has given me the serious munchies. So I poured myself out of coffee. I've got some lotus biscuits, which I was saving for the morning, but sod it, I'm going to eat, I'm going to scoff them. And some Chococo chocolate. Mm. Well, good morning. This is nice and eerie. I don't know if you can pick this up on the thing. Well, it's been pretty cool, guys, and... I'm going to cook up some breakfast in a bit. But for the moment, I'm just going to take in this peculiar view.
heading home now. Got about five miles to go. Just wanted to say thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure as usual. Saw some beautiful stars. Wasn't expecting to. I was looking at the weather forecast and it was uh, supposed to be overcast all night. But no, it cleared up. It was lovely. Just heading back into Shatwick now on the Cowgrove Road. Route 25. It's now 5 to 8. I'm going to have a bacon sandwich when I get home. See you on the road, guys.